हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ज्योतना तिवारी एंड वेलकम टू टुडे डेली करेंट अफेयर सेशन वेयर वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दिट your upcoming exam okay guys so let's have a look that which type of question and which type of news will uh, rise in your exam so here is the first news of today's session and the news is that but before the starting the news first of all let me change my pen color then we will discuss each and everything in details okay guys so here is the first, first news of today's session and the news is that <clears throat> recently the india angola joint commission meeting was held okay so here we talk about the india angola joint commission meeting so here are some important key points regarding this particular news let's have discuss some important points so here you can see that the india and angola held their first joint commission meeting on 8th september 2020 the countries discussed various areas including food processing agriculture defense pharma health uh, digitization or telecommunication okay so here are these are important points which we have discussed so why is angola important for india so here you can see that the angola is important for india's energy security angola has vast oil resources and it is the second largest okay don't forget it that it is the second largest crude oil supplier in the sub sahara desert after nigeria presently gale import, imports lng liquid natural gas from angola okay so we have already discussed so what is the trade relation between india and angola so here you can see first of all oil sector first point is oil sector so india is angola's third largest trading partner with the around 10% of external trade it is mainly responsible for the purchase of bulk crude oil second one is non oil sectors if we talk about non oil sector so many projects have been undertaken by indian companies in serving including the retail hospitality agriculture plastics scrap metal steel and here is the next point of today's session and the news is that other developmental initiative so india also extended a line of credit to the government of angola for the, for its railway rehabilitation project, project the project is being developed by rail india technical and economic uh, consultancy service this is the abbreviation of rits limited okay guys so we have already discussed each and every point which is important for your upcoming exam so let's have a look at which type of question will rise in your exam regarding this particular news so here is first question which will definitely rise in your exam and the question is that recently india and which country joint commission meeting was held okay regarding the crude oil then your answer will be angola second question will rise that India and Angola held their first joint commission meeting on which date then your answer will be 8th September 2020 in which field so there here is the all fields processing agriculture defense okay health digitization and telecommunication okay you will have to also learn the lng full form liquid natural gas from angola and the sub sahara desert after nigeria you will have to learn this this is the second largest crude oil supplier to india okay also here you can see that the india is angola's third largest trading partner with the around 10% of external trade if we talk about non oil oil sector so many projects have been undertaken in the non oil sector with the indian companies like retail hospitality agriculture plastic scrap metal steel and trade and all okay here's one question which will definitely rise your on exam that the what is the abbreviation of rites then your answer will be rail india technical and economic consultancy services okay so guys we have already discussed each and every point about this particular news so if you have any question any doubt then you can ask me in the comment box so here is the here is the next news of today's session and the news is that chief minister of andhra pradesh inaugurated ysr sampurna poshan yojana okay so here you can see that on september 7 2020 ysr jagan mohan reddy the chief minister of andhra pradesh has launched the ysr sampurna yojana the scheme aims to provide food to lactating mothers 
एंड प्रेगनेंट वुमेन टू मीट देयर न्यूट्रिशन नीड्स ओके सो वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट की पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ प्लानिंग सो दिस स्कीम विल रिड्यूस मेल इंट्रीशन अमंग द वीकर सेक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट This will benefit 30.16 lakh babies and the lactating mothers. It focuses on malnutrition and anemia in pregnant and lactating mothers. It will provide supplementary nutrition in all Anganwadi centers. The scheme aims to cover 77 tribal areas, and the total expenditure on the scheme is going to rupees 1,863 crore per year. Okay. Which is going cost of rupees one thousand one hundred per beneficiary per month. Okay, guys. So these are the important points. So what is national nutrition policy? So here you can see that the recently the Union Minister of Women and Child Development also came up with the nutrition guidelines for the country while participating in webinar nutritional requirement for children and mothering uh, on mothers during the first thousand year. Sorry, first thousand days. Under the Poshan Ma Initiative, have asked for guidelines may prescribe a healthy diet for pregnant women and the lactating mothers. Okay, this may include guidelines for children in the age group of six month to six years. Okay, so we have already discussed each and every point which is important for your upcoming exam, guys. So let's have a look at which type of question will rise in your exam regarding this. Particular news. So here is first question, which will definitely rise in our exam. And the question is that the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh inaugurated which yojana, okay, or which scheme for the lactating mothers or pregnant women? Then your answer will be YSR Sampurna Poshan Yojana. Second question will rise in our exam that who is the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh? Then your answer will be Jagan Mohan Reddy. Okay. Here is uh, this scheme is launched on which date? Then your answer will be September seven, two thousand twenty. Okay, and also these data which is very important for your upcoming exam, guys. That this scheme will reduce malnutrition among the weaker section. Remember this, and this will benefit around thirty point sixteen lakh babies and lactating mothers. Okay. It focuses on malnutrition and anemia in pregnant and lactating mothers. You will have to learn this. That this scheme aims to cover seventy-seven tribal areas. Expenditure that means the total fund of this is uh, this is scheme in every uh, in every year. Then your answer will be one thousand eight hundred sixty-three crore. Okay. And if we talk about per person, so the cost of per person is one thousand one hundred per beneficiary per month. Okay. National nutri. If we talk about national nutrition policy, so this policy is work under the Union Minister of Women and the Child Development. Okay, and the nutrition requirement children and mother during the first one thousand days. Uh, and also this scheme is help. Of, uh, if we talk about children, so this scheme will help to children from age group of six months to six year. Okay, guys. So we have already discussed each and every point which is important for your upcoming exam. So here is the next news of today's session, and the news is that Thawar Chand Gehlot launched a 24-hour, seven-toll-free mental health rehabilitation helpline Kiran. The name of helpline is Kiran. Okay. So Shri Thawar Chand Gehlot, the Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, in fact launched the. 24 into 7 toll free mental health rehabilitation helpline named Kiran the purpose of which is to provide relief and assistance to person with mental illness gehlot also released the poster brochures and the resources book on the helpline so what is the characteristics behind this particular news so here you can see that the toll free helpline will be operational 24 hours a day 7 days a week with a technical coordination of bsnl okay the helpline consists of total of 25 institute including eight national institutes the toll free helpline is supported by 660 clinical rehabilitation psychologist and 668 psychiatrist it is serves as a lifeline for providing first september advice okay consultation and reference is 13 languages to individual families 
नॉन गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पेरेंट एसोसिएशन प्रोफेशनल एसोसिएशन रिहेबलाइजेशन इंस्टीट्यूट हॉस्पिटल और एनी वन इन नीड एक्ट और अक्रॉस द इंडिया विल वर्क इन दिस पर्टिकुलर हेल्पलाइन ओके दर्टीन लैंग्वेजेस इंक्लूडेड द हेल्पलाइन एरिया असमी इंग्लिश गुजराती हिंदू सॉरी हिंदी मराठी मलयालम उड़िया तमिल तेलुगु पंजाबी कन्नड़ बंगाली एंड उर्दू ओके सो दिस हेल्पलाइन नंबर इज अवेलेबल इन दीज पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेजेस ओके सो लेट्स हैव डिस्कस दैट विच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल राइज इन और एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज सो हेयर इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच विल डेफिनेटली राइज इन और एग्जाम एंड क्वेश्चन इज दैट रिसेंटली हू लॉन्च दी ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन टोल फ्री मेंटल हेल्थ रिहेबलाइजेशन हेल्पलाइन रन देन योर आंसर विल बी थावर चंद गहलोत Second question will rise you on an exam that Thawar Chand Gehlot launched the 24 into 7 toll free helpline number named Kiran. So this helpline number is related to which work or related to which field? Then your answer will be mental health rehabilitation. Next question will rise you on an exam about this particular helpline name. Then your answer will be Kiran. Okay. This service is available in 24 hours and seven days of the week. With the cooperation with the BSNL, you will have to learn this. There are twenty-five institutes available and eight national institutes available. Also, you can here you can see that the, there are six six sixty clinical rehabilitation psychologist and six six eight psychiatrist. Okay, and these are the languages in which language this particular helpline number is available. Okay, guys. So we have discussed each and every point regarding this particular news. If you have any doubt, then you can ask me in the comment box. So here is the next news of today's session, and the news is that five public enterprises of India will join the International Solar Alliance. Okay. So let's have discuss some key points regarding this particular news. So here you can see that the, during the speech at the first World Solar Technology Summit. held on september 8 2020 minister of petroleum and natural gas dharmendra pradhan announced that five public sector undertaking will join the international solar alliance alliance by sustainable climate action contribution to isas corpus fund okay so what is the key points regarding this particular news so here you can see that the psu is going to join the alliance r That means which PSUs are going to join the which alliance? So these are that alliance. That first one is Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Second one is Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited. Third one is Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, and the fourth and the last one is Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited and uh, Gale India Limited. Okay. So what is the importance behind this particular initiative or alliance? So here you can see that this is a going to help India reduce greenhouse gas emissions, reducing emissions by one third compared to 2005 level, achieving 40 percent of installed capacity for electricity from non-fossil fuels, creating additional carbon reduction by increasing the forest cover. India's move follow the Paris climate change meeting COP21 which took place in 2015 okay so which we have already discussed the each and every point regarding this particular news so let's have a look at which type of question will rise on our exam regarding this particular news so here is first question which will definitely rise on our exam and the question is that how many public enterprises of india will join the international solar alliance then your answer will be five okay If and next question will rise on our exam, the name of that five PSU who will who will they will going to join the alliance? Then your answer will be first one is Indian Oil Corporation Limited, second one is Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited, third one is Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, and the last one is Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, and uh, fifth one is the Gale Indian Limited. Okay, fifth one is the Gale Indian Limited. Here you will have to learn the data which we have already discussed about it. Okay, guys. So I hope you will understand each and everything in details. If you have any doubt, then you can ask me in the comment box. And here is the last news of today's session. And the news is that recently, ADB provided loan for Delhi Meerut RRTS corridor. Okay. So India and Asian Development Bank signed a dollar five hundred million loan on September eight two thousand twenty. the construct the 82 km delhi meerut regional rapid transit system corridor 
This will improve regional connectivity and the mobility. So, what is the key facts regarding this particular news? So, here you can see that the project is to be implemented by the National Capital Region Transport Corporation, in which the central and the state government will jointly own. The train coach will be manufactured by Bombardier Transportation of India, Gujarat. And the total cost of this project is dollar three point nine four billion. Okay, guys. Next one is a total of eight corridors were identified by the regional rapid transit system, but only three of the eight corridors were prioritized prioritized under the NCR regional plan two thousand twenty one. These includes Delhi, Ghaziabad, Meerut, Delhi, Panipat, Delhi, Gurugram, SNB, Alwar. Okay. So, what is the important key points about ADB? Let's have discussed the full form is AD. The full form of ADB is Asian Development Bank, is a regional development bank which was established on 19th December 1966. It is headquartered in the Philippines and it consists of 31 field offices around the world. Okay, guys. So we have discussed each and important point which we have discussed. Uh, we have discussed each and important point which is important for your upcoming exam. So let's have discuss that which type of question will rise in our exam regarding this particular news. So here is first question which will definitely rise in our exam. The question is that recently, uh, India, India signed the loan agreement for the Delhi Meerut RRTS corridor with, the, with which organization? Then your answer will be ADB Asian Development Bank. What is the amount of this particular loan? Then your answer will be dollar five hundred million loan. This amount is signed on September two thousand twenty, and eighty two kilometer Delhi Meerut regional rapid transit system. Okay, what is the abbreviation of RRTS? Then you will have to answer the regional rapid transit system. Okay, the project uh, is to be implemented by the National Capital Region Transport Corporation. That means you will have to also learn the NCRTC abbreviation. Okay. Here you will have to learn, guys. What is the amount? So here is the, you can see that the train coach of manufactured by Bombardier Transportation of India, Gujarat, and the total cost of this project is dollar three point nine four billion. Also, you will have to learn what is the target year. Then target year is two thousand twenty one. But only three of eight corridors were prioritized under the NCR Regional Plan two thousand twenty one. This include Delhi, Ghaziabad, Meerut. Delhi Panipat, Delhi Gurugram, SNB Alwar. Okay, there is the headquarter of ADB. So ADB headquarter is Manila, Philippines. What is the established year? So established year is nineteenth December nineteen sixty six. And how many member countries? So there are almost thirty one member countries or offices around the world. So guys, we have discussed each and everything in details. I hope you will understand each and everything in details, guys. If you have any doubt, then you can ask me in the comment box. Okay. So that's all for to, for today's session. So here you can see the screenshot of the quiz. So basically, I want to say, guys, that if you want to give the quizzes on the daily basis, so for that you will have to go to the Google Play Store now, download the entry app now, and don't forget to uh, don't forget to register your mail ID, your phone number, and after that you can give the quizzes on the daily basis. Also, you can analyze yourself that where where are you standing right now, and according to that you can boost your Preparation. You can also visit our YouTube channel. For that, you will have to go to the YouTube, type the Banking 2.0 and subscribe the channel, and don't forget to tap on the bell icon. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share this session as much as you can. You can share this session with your colleague, relative, friends, whomever you are studying. Also, you can share this session on your social media platform like your uh, Facebook group, your WhatsApp group, your Telegram group, wherever you are available. You can share this session with whom. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share this session as much as you can. Thank you very much for cooperating with me. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.